Probably my favorite thing about this light is the fact that it's a bicolor light. If you don't know what that is, it means that you're able to change the color of this light from a cool blue color to a warm orange color. If you're new to video and filmmaking and you still don't understand why that might be important, let me quickly explain. In a nutshell, light that we think of as being a kind of white color is actually all sorts of different shades. Sunlight is actually a cool blue color because of Earth's atmosphere and measures at 5600 Kelvin. The light that you use in your house are probably tungsten lights and this is a warm orangey color around about 3200 Kelvin. Most of the time we don't see or notice this change in color because our brains do such a good job of just making everything this kind of clear, clean white color. But our cameras are stupid, so when filmmaking, we need to match the white balance of our camera to the color temperature of our scene. Otherwise, we'll end up with a shot that looks way too blue or way too orange. So if we're outside on a clear day, we would set our camera's white balance to 5600K to get a normal looking picture. The problem is, if you start mixing different color temperatures of light together, you end up with strange and unwanted effects. Say you're filming inside and you want to use the fixtures in your house to light your video, but you also want to use your video light that is only daylight balanced. You're going to end up with two different colored temperatures of light, 3200K and 5600K. If you color balance your camera to 3200, the daylight light will look like it's shining blue light on your subject. And if you color balance to the 5600K, your tungsten lights are going to look like they're shining an orange light on your subject. Having the ability to dial in your video light's color temperature solves this problem. You can now match the color temperature of your lights together. When color balance your camera to that temperature, you get a normal looking image. Make sense? Hopefully. This is the GVM SD80S. It's an entry level video light by, well, GVM, which stands for Great Video Makers. Bit boastful. They're a Chinese company that make video lighting and other stuff, although it's mostly lighting. And it ranges from big professional type lights down to this more budget friendly style of light. It's very simple to work. Turn the dial to increase or decrease brightness in single increments. Tap the dial like a button to increase or decrease in bigger stops. Hold the dial in for a few seconds and it will switch to color temperature mode where you can dial in the temperature you want from 2700 Kelvin all the way up to 7500 Kelvin. The light has a number of built-in effects, lightning, fire, candle, bad bulb, TV, paparazzi, explosion, and pulsing. And like most lights these days, this can all be controlled by an app. And this is probably my only real problem I have with this light. In order to use the app, you need to generate an account with GVM. I don't know why you would need to do this. I've used lots of apps from many other different light companies, and this is the first time that I've needed to make an account with all that crap that goes along with it. Passwords, verification codes, blah, blah, blah. I'd suggest that GVM need to ditch this ASAP. The fan on this light is reasonably quiet, but you can hear it if you're within a meter or so of it. If the noise is picked up on your microphone, you can always run the video through DaVinci Resolve's incredible voice isolation tool, which I have a video all about, linked down in the description. As you will probably have noticed, you can use batteries to power this light. It takes the Sony style MP batteries and they just slot right onto the side. You then flick the switch down and you have light, assuming you have charged batteries that is. This is useful if you want to take the light outside and film and you don't have a generator, but I will say this light and every other light in this color power range isn't going to overpower the sun if you're trying to film outside on a bright clear day. They're just not designed for that type of work. Where I do think this feature will be most useful is when you want to put a light in an unusual place, like high up or even out on the end of an arm. The battery frees you from the power cord dangling around everywhere and getting in your way. You will however need two batteries at all times for this feature to work. It can't run off a single battery and you can't hot swap batteries on the fly, which is a little bit disappointing. Unfortunately, when you have two batteries connected, you can't use the lever on the side of the light to re-angle the camera because it's blocked from rotating by the lower battery, which is just kind of a strange design flaw, but you can work around it, it's not the end of the world. So this light actually comes in a kit. You get a light stand, a softbox, a couple of batteries, uh, a couple of battery chargers, the light itself, obviously, and the power cord. 
As I said before, this is a budget entry light. It costs around $150. At that price point, you're not going to reinvent the wheel and blow your minds with unheard of features. But this is a steady eddy. It does everything it sets out to do perfectly reasonably. Its build quality is fine, it's nice and small, and it doesn't weigh too much. I think if you're starting out in content creation, you want to do something like YouTube videos, then this is a great light to start out with without breaking the bank. You can easily use it for this style of talking head video, like I am now, and I've only got this light on at about 30%. I think that for the majority of people, a light where you can dial in the color temperature you need is gonna be much more useful than a daylight only light, where you're stuck with the one color temperature. Yes, there are some ways to warm up a daylight color light, like using colored gels, but it all gets a bit fiddly and is much slower than simply turning a dial. And yes, daylight lights are normally a bit brighter, but I still think that for the majority of people, the right decision is a bicolor light. I used Joel Famolaro's Phantom Lutz to color grade all the B-roll in this video. If you like the way it looks, then you can check out the link in the description and use the code CHRIS15 to get a 15% discount at checkout.